<laughs> oh god, I wonder how close the seat's gonna be. 2013 Chevrolet Sonic LT. Oh boy, here comes all of those Sega Genesis Sonic Heroes references. Brought to you by Big Daddy General Motors. This is a 2013 Chevrolet Sonic LT and is powered by a 1.8 Ecotec four-cylinder engine and coupled to a six-speed automatic. Oh yeah, it's car reviews after hours and hey kids, do you know what Sonic is? No, this isn't Sonic American Drive-In Restaurants or Sonic Heroes or Sonic Boom or Sonic 102.9 in Alberta, Canada or Sonic Health here, or well, anything with that word in it, because this car wears a bow tie and hails in the heartland of America, wherever that is. 2013 Chevrolet Sonic LT. This car is not the base model, this is the LT trim, which features power windows, AM FM stereo, with an auxiliary jet. Oh, yeah! Oh, and you get a touchscreen. Oh, so fancy. Oh, wait, that was optional on this car. You just get this motorcycle style gauge cluster and a simple Tron like radio center console and dual cubby holes. Oh, yeah, do you remember? Remember cubby holes? Yeah, it was a storage bin for all my shit I brought to show and tell. Uh, low rolling resistance is futile. 2013 Chevrolet Sonic LT. It's a global car brought to you by the generic mastercraft from Detroit, Michigan, Chevrolet. Uh, this car has a timing belt. If you opted for the 1.4 chain driven turbo four pot, then congrats on your worthwhile investment into the wonderfully bizarre universe this car exists in. 2013 Chevrolet Sonic LT. Powered by 138 mile little ponies and 125 foot-pounds of torque, which, for a car that weighs 2,712 pounds, is more power offered in this game of two-bodied subcompact built in the United States, Indonesia, Ecuador, Brazil, Germany, Colombia, Spain, India, South Korea, Mexico, Thailand, Venezuela, Uzbekistan, Vietnam, China, and last but not least, Russia. Geez, that's a lot of pickings to go around. Oh, but remember, this is the GM Gamma platform. 2013 Chevrolet Sonic LT. Inspired by the urban luxury concept, RS Spark Sale, Barina, Cobalt, Maka Spin, Onyx, Prisma, Trax, Viva, and let's not forget Carl. Let's talk about how this car is on the inside. The interior is surprisingly minimalistic. I mean, all the controls are labeled in English. And the air vents have a twisty control, which is pretty damn impressive for a five-door hatchback. The steering wheel feels non-linear, but I do like the 10 and 2 notches in it. And the gauge cluster is kind of futuristic. I mean, look at all of these lights. Oh, and this car has a shit ton of airbags, making this car one of the safest in its class. And it returns decent fuel economy, with the EPA rating this at 25 miles per gallon city, 35 miles per gallon highway. I think it really boils down to the 6T30 automatic 6-speed transmission because, hey, if you want better fuel economy, just add another gear. 2013 Chevrolet Sonic LT. Driven by the likes of rare drunk typology test subjects who complain about things like, why is Snap Maps even a thing? Or does our internet presence even bear any true resemblance to who we really are? I'll let whoever is listening to this car view be the judge of that. 2013 Chevrolet Sonic LT. The preferred chariot of choice for people who experience Elmo Solo Odney, or to slowly break out into a genuine smile when being overcome with emotions like love or utter happiness. Yeah, yeah. I see you, Chevy Sonic, with your bubble headlights and anger face and that cheeky bastard smile. Just think about how we ended up in Texas with this American made slush box. 2013 Chevrolet Sonic LT. A car for millennials that partake in Music Midtown and Athfest if you happen to live in the dirty south and the heartland of America. Chevy Sonic. It's a car driven by a person who prefers to travel at night or a knock neck. Oh, yeah, Carvey's after hours. Better hit the pipe with this shit that's going down. 2013 Chevrolet Sonic LT. You remind me of that girl in high school, you know, that one girl who's so out of your league even though on a mutual level you and her are probably more on the same page. In terms of common interests, her looks are somewhere in terms of a 7 out of 10, but her personality is on an immeasurable scale. She's not materialistic, but she doesn't appreciate mediocrity either. Maintenance wise, her face doesn't require much to control the irresistible urge to pinch or squeeze something that is unbearably cute and adorable and she only needs servicing every several thousand miles, so that's cool. But as you look at her with her poker face and nice firm edges, you know deep down you're dealing with a case of slack viz and run amok. It's a cheap car after all. I mean, hell, I'm sure this car was used at rental agencies. And you know what that means? Oh yeah, just run the shit into the ground. It's just steel and plastic after all. Common sense just flies out the window, sadly. 2013 Chevrolet Sonic LT. To sum up what this car is overall, this car is the holy grail of royals. It started from the bottom of the reflector 3 
thrift shop. So hold on, we're going home to get lucky, the fox. And my songs know what you did in the dark, so just do what you want and come and get it, black skinhead, because I'm counting stars and watching movies about my true story, because you can't hold us if I'm still into you, and I need your love, so let's take back the night. And hey, Portia, the devil put dinosaurs here, so, uh, YOLO, because we can bark, bitch. So it sure be cool if you did. You don't even know numbers on the boards or the boys around here. Step inside of the Sanctuary of a J and see for yourself, Sonic. The end. Oh, yeah. After hours with Ecotech, yeah. Oh, 